welcome to Trimax LMS online okay, ang ating uh, topic ngayon ay kung paano gamitin yung ating LMS so kung tayo po uh, bilang estudyante ay wala pang account sa LMS so ang gagawin nyo lang po ay click lang yung online ay yung ating uh, sign up okay? upon clicking sign up So, pupunta po yan sa registration page. So, sa registration page, ay pilapan po natin yung mga fields na nandito. Okay? Natural, click natin yung student kung tayo po ay estudyante. Okay? Pilapan yung first name, last name, email, then the password. Okay? Huwag niyo po kalimutan ang password. And then, you have the mobile number. Okay? And then, we have the Trimax ID number or simply the student number. So, mahalaga po ito na ilagay ang inyong ID number kasi kapag yan ay na-verify okay, at tinignan nakita yung record at hindi existing uh, panigurado po kayo po ay tatanggalin po sa system. Okay? Just make it sure na tama po yung ating ID number. Okay? Apan na uh, fill up click yung register then lalabas po yan ng uh, notification or magaantay po kayo ng approval ng uh, admin so let's assume na na-approve na ng admin ng inyong account so i-login lang natin yung inyong account okay pagka-login so ito po yung magdi-display okay po so meron tayo sa left side the inbox okay edit profile kung gusto yung edit yung inyong profile okay And then so, uh, sort courses So, yan po yung nasa left side natin. And then, sa right side, meron tayong nakalista o yung listahan ng mga courses or subjects na kung saan po kayo ay naka-enroll. Pero, by default, meron po kayong course na isa, which is the student LMS tutorials. So, kailangan nyo pong i-perform po yan para po matutunan nyo kung paano gamitin yung ating LMS. Okay po. So, uh, tuloy po tayo ulit. So, again, dito lalabas sila itong subjects na naka-enroll. Automatic po yun. Okay? So, click po natin to So, yun ito yung ating course. So, meron po yung explanation. Okay? So, babasahin po natin yung uh, introduction ng course. So, meron daw four steps to remember. Uh, number one is to click the course description section to see the content of the modules. So, ito yung ating course description. Okay? Pag clinic natin yan, makikita natin yung content or topics. Kato dito, this is IT215 Multimedia System. Makikita nyo ngayon yung learning outcomes, okay, yung learning plan. Okay, dito dalawa lang nakalagay. Okay? Although, kung kayo ay summer class, that, that is 8 weeks. Kapag kayo naman ay uh, nasa regular class, yan ay nasa 18 weeks. So, ibig sabihin, yung week 1, ito yung mga gagawin. Yung week number 2, ito yung mga gagawin. Okay? So, ito yung listahan or tinatawag natin syllabus. Okay? Or course outline. So, break tayo sa my course ulit. Para makita mo lahat ng mga naka-enroll mong subject. And then, punta natin ulit yung unang uh, nakalista. The student element tutorial. Balikan natin ulit. So, the step number 2, focus on the learning path. So, malimit tatakbo po ang inyong uh, lessons or mga activities ay nasa learning path po lahat. Okay? Itong course description, sa una lang po malimit ito. Para lang malaman ninyo kung nasaan yung in, or what I mean kung uh, kung ano na ang mga topics ninyo per week. Okay? Yun lang po ang purpose ng course descriptions. Okay? But still, lahat ng gagawin ninyo, readings, okay, ay nandito lahat sa learning path, yung mga lessons. Okay? Then step 3, always check the announcement or inbox. So, meron tayong announcement. Ito yon, Okay? Pag login nyo, check nyo lagi yung announcement. Kung may announcement ba yung teacher ninyo or wala or yung instructor ninyo. Okay? So, balik sa my course. So, pawat ulit lang po yan. Then, sabi doon, check your progress in the assessment section. So, merong assessment section. Doon yung malalaman kung ano na matatapos ninyo. So, click natin yung assessment. So, kung papapansin ninyo, ayan siya. Okay? So, may final squeeze, may introduction, may week 1, may week 2. 
So, results natin ay wala pa. Kasi wala pa naman kayong ginagawa. Okay? So, balik tayo sa mga course ulit. Okay, LMS. Okay, now. Mag-focus na tayo doon sa learning path. Kasi dyan lahat may ikot ang topic or discussions. Okay? Sa so, learning path natin, so, makikita lang natin ay introduction. So, although we have hanggang week number 2. So, hindi kayo makakaproceed sa week 1, week 2 kapag hindi nyo natatapos yung first part. So, ito yung ating first part. Click lang natin yung first part which is the introduction. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, lahat po ito ay may kinalaman. So, ito yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng topic. So, ito yung lesson. So, uh, explore learning path. So, ito yung content. Okay? Yan siya. So, babasahin nyo lang yan. And then, introduction, PDF. Checking. So, ito na yan. So, yung diniscuss ko kanina. Yan yung content. And then, kayo mapapansin nyo, nagkakaroon ng check. Okay? And then, the percentage. Okay? Isa pa nga itlong topic. We have to introduce yourself. So, naka 100%. But, sabi doon, introduce yourself. Okay? Now, uh, sabi doon, activity, introduce yourself using Microsoft Word and upload your file here. PDF format is accepted. Okay? Sabi doon, no, to upload your documents, click upload my assignment. Ayan siya sa taas. Okay? Pero hindi mo na ako mag-upload para makita lang ninyo. Ano? Balik tayo dito sa home. So, meron tayong home. Then, meron tayong uh, expand. Expand. So, ganyan lang po yun. Okay? Para medyo mas malaki yung uh, view natin. Okay? So, balik doon. And then, reporting. Kung ilan ay nakukomplete mo sa inyo sa or yung, yung progress ninyo. Ayan yung reporting. So, balik tayo sa home. Okay? Home tayo. Ito yung ating home. Pupunta yun dito ulit. Okay? Balik kayo sa learning path. Okay? So, learning path lang malimit. So, napapansin nyo, mayroon na kayong week number 1. Okay? So, pag clinic nyo yan, uh, po pwede nyo nang gawin yung itong part na to. Okay? So, try natin yung quiz number 1 kung po pwede. So, hindi nyo kayo i-allow na mag-quiz. Kasi hindi nyo pa natatapos yung assignment number 1. Okay? So, ayan siya. So, assignment number 1. Okay? And just make it sure na meron na ka upload. Kasi pag clinic nyo yung quiz number 1, so, uh, wala rin. Okay? Kasi nga, wala kayong nilagay na assignment. Okay? So, click natin yung assignment number 1. Try natin mag-upload. So, ang, ang question ay, how, my, how multimedia affects the business world? Okay? Mag-assume tayo, kunwari, meron ka ng sinagutan. So, uh, yung sagot mo ay ilalagay natin sa text. Dito. Dito tayo mag-upload. Siguro mag-create na lang tayo ng file. No? So, limbawa, uh, pukas tayo ng notepad. Ito po. Uh, okay, for example, ganyan lang. Save ko to. Okay. Save natin dito na lang siguro. Zoom, LMS. For example, uh, sagot ko. Save natin. Post natin to. So, upload natin yung file. Hanapin nyo yung folder or yung file. Ayan, sagot ko. Okay, may naka-upload na. So, click natin yung quiz. So, pwede na tayo mag-quiz. Okay? So, start natin yung quiz and then, ba, question number one, do you love me? Okay, um, yes. Okay, next. So, uh, yung bago ito, yung end test. So, matatapos na yung inyong quiz. So, just make it sure yung chat area na lagi dito. Click natin to. Yan, sabi din, open the chat section and introduce yourself. 
Okay? So, uh, sa, sa pupuntahan, chat section daw. Okay, yun yung activity. Kasi meron panigurado, merong discussion yung instructor. Okay? Unless otherwise, itong instruction niya, sinabi niya, limbawa, meron tayong chat ng ganitong pecha. So, kailangan yung mag-online. Okay? Whatever yung time na yun. Or, uh, kung sinabi niya ngayon na meron kayong chat, so, ng mga 10 o'clock, or 11 o'clock, or anything, whatever the instruction, ay sa kanyang bubuksan yung chat. Okay? So, sabi doon, buksan na yung chat. Tayo sa home. And then, punta tayo doon sa chat. Ito yung ating chat. Tapos, sabi doon, introduce yourself. Hello. Okay? I am John. Okay? Send natin to. Then, close. Nakapag-send na tayo ng content. Okay? So, back tayo sa learning path. So, enable na yung week number 2 kasi natapos na natin yung week number 1. Okay? Pero just in case na meron kayo nakalimutan, pwede nyo balikan yung mga lessons. Okay? Pwede nyo basahin ulit. So, hindi naman, mawa hindi naman siya mawawala. Okay? Sabi ito, introduce yourself. So, ito yung nakalimutan kanina. Kaya hindi kayo nakapag-upload. Since na ito ay last topic na, so, hindi ni require uh, ng ating uh, instructor na kailangan ay may ma-upload o wala, wala naman sinabi so mag-upload na lang mga tayo so, so same, same na rin siguro yung ilalagay, ilalagay natin so, ito yung bawa lang although Microsoft Word yung sinabi then home ulit ok, balik tayo sa learning path then week number 2 ok so again, ganun din ulit ok, kailangan nyo natapusin basahin yung instruction then you have the assignment number 2 so upload ulit kung ano man yung inyong assignment ok so test section Exam na. Uh, go to the test section and do the final quiz. Okay? So, sabi doon, do the final quiz. Click tayo sa home. Then, go to the test section. Test section. Ito yung test. Okay? And then, final quiz daw ay gawin. And then, start natin yung test. How many uh, links do we have in the link section? So, uh, ilam nga ba? So, let's say, for example, tatlo. Next natin. Okay? So, how many weeks in the learning path? For example, three then. Tapos, next natin. So, uh, tools for class discussion. Uh, chat. Okay, next question. Number for online resources. For example, uh, links. Okay? Next. What do you see in the document section? Uh, for example, documents. Or list of documents. And test natin. So, ito ay unlimited na test. Okay? Depende yan sa instructor kung ano yung uh, kanya, ano yung nakaset sa kanya. Okay? So, pwede ka mag-another attempt ulit. Okay? Kung naka-enable. Okay? May mga quizzes na po pwedeng enable. May mga quiz naman na one take lang. Okay? Let's turn to course homepage. And then, learning path ulit. So, nakaka-75% na. So, punta na natin to ulit. Ngayon na prelim examination. Okay? Start natin yung prelim. Uh, okay. The progress module. So, for example, uh, we have the assessment to Mare. Then, uh, what is Tremex LMS? Okay, for example, we have the learning management system. Okay, next questions. For example, tools uh, test, of course. Bawa lang. 
test. So ayan, uh, tapos na siya. Okay, punta tayo dun sa home. Let us check kung okay na siya. So 100% na siya. Okay? Okay? So lahat po yun ay intended per week. Okay? So tinan natin assessment. Assessment. So uh, okay, nabuo na lahat. Total of 100% lahat. Okay? The final quiz, the deduction ng week 1 and then week number 2. Okay? So kompleto na siya.